What's happening, fam? L.A. Uh, movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Regret is the reason why you don't like the black manosphere. And I've been trying to figure out how to say this for a while. You see how people respond to brothers? You know, they make up lies. They create stories that don't exist. Um, they create narratives that don't make sense. They, they create um, half-truths that they pawn off as facts. And then when you get down to the facts and the statistics, it's like, ugh. And a lot of times these people are upset, particularly with the black manosphere. And to me, it's like it's regret. You know, a lot of the people who have these issues don't seem happy with them, with their lives. They don't come off as happy or well-balanced or objective. They come off as very um, negative, you know. Uh, and when you hear the stories of certain content creators, they have to create a narrative to have a talking point, which means what the guys in the black manosphere has been saying is more true than what the people outside of it have been saying. The other thing, they're starting to see more and more people agree with the talking points and start to look at the facts and start to look at the information that these brothers have put out and it starts to become a Oh, I don't like, you know, we passed the I don't like how you sound part. And, and it started digging to, okay, you had situations like this, and now you regret it, but you're still going to die on that hill. So people are, are, are really taking real inventory of looking at individuals who want to die on a hill that made sense to them five, ten years ago that is not making sense to the general public today. So just because you made decisions that you regret and you don't want to say you regret them and you want to keep um, doing the same thing over and over and over again and getting the same results to have the same complaints means, you know, if, if you were to do it differently and it worked for you, it was you the whole time. And you can't accept then it, you might actually be the problem. You're the only um, common denominator in all your complaints, in all your problems, in all your situations. Of course, sometimes you were done wrong. But a lot of people are regretting the fact that you did other people wrong. And now you're living with the fact that you did other people wrong while you can see those people are succeeding, which is another thing. You're seeing more successes using with these talking points that people implement to their lives, then you're seeing failures. So you're starting to see, you know, um, men that you're like, ah, how could, I don't like them, but they're actually, you know, they're doing well. And they're, and they're, and they're, ment they're not just doing well physically. They're not just doing well financially. Their mental health is on point. So obviously they're doing something right. So to me, it's the regret. You hate the black manosphere because you have regrets. And what happens if you if you if if these guys, if if we rather, um, put a real staple in the culture and it changes the mindset and it changes the direction and it starts working out in a positive way because what it looks like is it is. It looks like. Though people talked about us bashing and all that, it looks like we're bringing more people together than the than people who say we're bashing. The people who say we're bashing are not bringing any people anybody together, unless they're bringing people together to fight the quote unquote bashing. But the bashing seems to be creating relationships, you know, in families. It's getting people to get back together. It's getting people to make better decisions with their lives and, and change their lives. So it's starting to look quite different. 
than what you assumed. And a lot of this has to do with, in my opinion, also the regret of single parenting. Because what you're hearing is a narrative of um, people want something now that they didn't want years ago. And they're going to act as though they wanted it back then too. When you can obviously uh, just roll the footage of their lives. And even on some of these... um, Channels, you could just roll back the footage of their channel and realize they were on something completely different years ago, you know. But nobody wants to talk about that, you know. Maybe people have regrets because they're not presenting themselves in the best light. They thought they were putting their best foot forward, but they weren't, you know. And now they regret it. I shouldn't, I should, maybe you didn't act a certain way. You weren't re- really the most personable person. You you were you weren't that uh, reasonable. You know you weren't actually a nice person. You thought you were, but you weren't. And looking back on it, you regret it. But when you hear the guys talking in the manosphere about what you know how the past is connected to the present, it rubs you the wrong way because hit dogs holler. At the end of the day, it's not our fault you were hit dog. And the problem ain't. That, that a lot of you hit dogs are hollering. The problem is actually that a lot of you hit dogs who holler are still not changing the ways that you regret. So we can't do nothing about that. If you're going to keep having regrets, you keep having regrets. But it ain't our fault. It just ain't our fault. And, and, that's, my, and that's, that's the hill that I'm on at, at the particular point. Because I think a lot of y'all just regret y'all decisions. You know, and even when it comes to content, you know, you, you don't like the black manosphere, but you use it as a content vehicle because even the narratives that you spin, you can't really come up. It, it looks crazy if you try to come up with it without hitching it to us, even though we keep just knocking down these stupid narratives because it's, it's easy. It's like, you know, swatting down flies like it doesn't. It's not. It's like, oh, another one. Ah. But anyway, that's just my thoughts on this. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace.